How is everybody? Much better, much better. Um, I am Billy Harris. Great to be back. This is our eighth annual LA Loves Alex's Lemonade. So give yourself yet another thunderous round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful day in LA. I've been with the foundation for the past 10 years. And before we actually even move on with the program, can we give a thunderous round of applause to the great Mark Vetri on my left who started the Great Chefs event. It'll be 13 years ago in my hometown of Philadelphia, so we love you, Mark Vetri. So I expect to see everyone here in Philly in June. Hope you got your raffle tickets. That's going on. Silent auction is going on. And this is amazing what this has become. We definitely have over 2,000 people here today. And none of this actually happened without our real hosts who brought it from Philly to L.A., so a thunderous round of applause, friends of mine for 20 years, for Suzanne Going, David Lentz, and Carolyn Stein. They got a lot going in LA, but we do this every year and it just gets better and better. That is for sure. So it is time for the program. I know the chefs have stopped serving, the booze has stopped serving. Everyone's around the stage. We'd love everyone's undivided attention for about 20, 25 minutes. So here we go, and it starts off by introducing two really good friends of mine. They were Alex's parents. They are Alex's parents. And their daughter started a lemonade stand in their front yard. And this has gotten so bigger than all of us. I've worked with them for the past 10 years. And it's just an honor every time and we should give a massive round of applause to Jay and Liz Scott, everybody. Childhood cancer. We're going to talk about childhood cancer. But first, we're going to talk about this event. What do you guys think of the food? What do you think of the wine? The beer, the mixed drinks. It's amazing. I was amazed today. I was, I was standing up here and I looked up and I saw a crowd of people waiting to get in. I said, what's going on? They said, these are people waiting to get in. I said, well, what do you mean they're waiting again? They said, it doesn't open for 10 more minutes. There was hundreds of people. There's hundreds of people waiting there. I think we've made it. <laughs> so I'm going to do a few thank yous. This event wouldn't be possible without these people, okay? Starting with Volvo Cars and Northwestern Mutual. You guys rock it, okay? You guys are amazing. You support us throughout the year. And we really appreciate it. And we couldn't put on an event like this without you. And we have the executive chef sponsor, Netflix, this year. Thank you to Netflix. Thank you. And Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines gives us vouchers to fly all the chefs in. Thank you, Delta. So we can keep our expenses down. All the chefs, you guys take time out of your busy schedules. You fly into L.A. You cook for 2,000 people. Thank you. You know, as I told you earlier, you guys mean the world to us. The mixologists, the vintners, you got 60 different wineries down here, guys. These guys are all doing this to help kids with cancer. Visionaries, heroes to kids with cancer, magicians in the kitchen, the queen of wine. Who am I talking about? I want to paraphrase Bob Dylan. I think you guys have painted your masterpiece with L.A. Loves Alex's. Carolyn, Suzanne, and David, come on up. Come on. So 
So these guys started coming to an event we put on in Philly called the Great Chefs event that Mark Vetri started. And they said, hey, we want to do something in LA to, like what Mark's doing. We want to do it on a weekend outside. That first year, how many people we have? A few hundred. Now we got a few thousand. You guys are amazing. Oh, a little plug. We do this in Philly, New York, Chicago. Jackson Hole, Wyoming now. It's always done when a chef comes to us and says, I want to bring this to my city. We don't bring it anywhere. So thank you guys. You're heroes. Mackenzie Strickland. Thank you. Janice Swerman. Thank you. The Kids Campaign. The Kids Campaign raised over $50,000, right? We got over 100 volunteers here today. We got the committee that helps us bring in people and sell tickets and thank you guys. You're literally helping us save lives. Alex's Lemonade, I would say, has saved kids' lives, all right? Every, every life we are able to save, you guys have a part of that. You're saving lives with us. The Alex's Lemonade staff, you guys are legendary, man. Legendary. I should make them come up because they would hate it. All right. There's a lot of bad stuff going on. Houston, Florida today, right? We're helping those kids. A lot of families displaced in Houston. There may be some in Florida. We're helping those families that have kids with cancer. So, you know, when you're here today spending your money, you know that some of that money is gonna go help, help kids with cancer in Houston and probably in Florida, depending on the destruction. But, you know, we're thinking of them. We got a special group of people here today. We did an event this week called the Young Investigator Summit where we brought 80 young investigators that Alex's Lemonade has funded to LA to meet each other, to learn from each other, to learn from established researchers. And we have 65 of them here right now. So raise your hands if, if you're a young investigator or one of our scientists, all right? Look around. 65 of them over here, over here. That's what your money is doing, guys. These people have literally dedicated their lives to helping kids with cancer. That's amazing. Thank you. You guys are amazing. All right? 650 kids in the world get cancer every day. Let's put an end to this, all right? We can do that. We're going to put an end to it. I hope you guys will take the ride with us. We do some amazing things at Alex's with funding research, but one of the things we're really proud of is our Travel for Care program, okay? You can't get the same treatment in every city in the country. So sometimes families have to make a decision if they can get their child to another city to get the treatment. Well, we take that out of the equation because we'll pay for them to get there. I want to tell you a quick story about Blaze. Blaze is a kid who had relapsed leukemia four times. We have a video coming out about him. Four times he relapsed. He lived, he lived with a woman who wasn't his mother. His, his mother dropped him off with his siblings at her house and didn't come back. And then he got diagnosed with leukemia and she still didn't come back. So his adoptive mother was treating him in Ohio. He relapsed, treated him again, he relapsed, treated him again, he relapsed. He needed to get to Philadelphia for this cutting edge treatment that was just FDA approved as the first immunotherapy that's FDA approved but they didn't have the money to get from Ohio to Philadelphia. Imagine that, you have to make that decision. Well, we paid for him to get there. And now he's been in remission for a full year. So with that, I just wanna thank you for being here today. Spend money at the auction, the silent auction. And what you're gonna hear coming up from Liz and our son Patrick is gonna blow your mind. One other thing, we have a new cookbook, the Alex's Table. A lot of the chefs that are here today have given recipes to it, and I was told by my staff that I wouldn't be able to sell 75 of them at this event. So you can get this cookbook at the table on your way out, or you can get it early and get the chefs to sign it. It's an awesome cookbook. All right, guys, thank you. Hi there. Um, okay, I'm not gonna start. 
Um, this is a great event and it's, it's a happy day. Um, I gotta tell you, this event always makes me just have to take a deep breath. Um, it's incredible and I'm just still not sure how we got from our front yard to this point. Back in 2000 when Alex first voiced her idea to start a lemonade stand, I didn't think she was starting a movement. And in fact, I thought it would be really hard to make a difference. I just thought she was doing something, doing something to fight back against the disease that had come relentlessly into her life as an infant and had never left. She certainly made me realize that doing something is so much better than doing nothing. And in fact, doing something is quite amazing. Had Alex decided not to do something, what would that have meant for pediatric cancer research? What would that have meant to the 65 ALSF researchers who are here today? What would that have meant to my family and to me? But more importantly, what would that have meant to the families whose children have battled cancer over the past decade? I can't say for sure, and I certainly can't speak for anyone else, except Jay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a joke, you're supposed to laugh. <laughs> but I can tell you that I've had the privilege of hearing from families and even meeting some families who have come to Alex's and gotten in touch with us because they are so grateful for the research that has given their child new hope when everything else had failed them. Just this week, I spoke to a family who wanted to help raise money for the foundation and wanted some guidance. This family became connected to us through one of our researchers, Dr. Ted Johnson. I don't know, he might be here. Maybe he had to go home. Um, anyways, we have funded his research over the years, including a grant to fund the first of its kind clinical trial using a new immunotherapy treatment in children with aggressive brain tumors. So while we were funding Dr. Johnson's work and helping him get his clinical trial up and running in Georgia, at the same time, there was a little boy, seven years old, named Coulter in Texas, who had been battling a brain tumor since he was four years old. Nothing had worked. As his dad described, those were very dark days. Right when the trial was getting ready to open, the family learned of Dr. Johnson. He offered what they were looking for and so many families are looking for. Something different, something less toxic than his previous treatments. They offered them hope, something nobody else was able to. So on December 9th, 2015, Coulter became the first child enrolled in that study. As his mom put it, we were all out of options. This was our only hope. Since that time, the family has been traveling back and forth to Georgia. And they report that although he is still not out of the woods, Coulter has flourished the past two years. He enjoys his little sisters and they enjoy him. He enjoys his mom and dad and everything that a now nine-year-old boy should be enjoying. And in fact, today and his family are on a trip to Rome where rumor has it he will be meeting the Pope. When I speak to families like Coulter's, and I know what it means to them, as you can all imagine if your parents, to have their son here with them, and what it means to their two little sisters to have their big brother, I am nothing but grateful for Alex and her inspiration, and I'm truly humbled by everyone who has helped carry it forward to make amazing things happen. I know I'm lucky that Alex's life meant so much, and it continues to have a profound meaning, but it, it's still hard to come to terms with the incredible loss we feel and what that loss has meant to our family. As our three boys have grown older, they're now 14, 19, and 22, I've grown to appreciate their perspective on what it was like having a sister with cancer and what it's like to grow up without her. But even I was not prepared for the emotions when my oldest son, Patrick, recently wrote a letter to Alex on the 13th anniversary of her passing. It captures her life so perfectly, but at the same time, it gives a unique view through the eyes of her only big brother. So we invited Patrick here today to share that letter with you as a tribute to Alex, but also to give a voice to all the super siblings out there who are often the strong, silent heroes when a family is fighting cancer. Come on up, Patrick. Hello, can you hear me? So uh, like my mom said, uh, Alex, the founder of the organization, was my younger sister. So this is a little letter I wrote last month on the 13th anniversary of her death uh, to give some color to 
and what the families of the children who die from cancer go through. And for anyone from Philadelphia, it was uh, printed in the Philly Inquirer uh, last month, too. To my sister, Alex. To my sister, Alex. Today marks 13 years since your death on August 1st, 2004. At the time, you were eight and I was nine. Had you lived, you would be 21 now. It's difficult to imagine because you'll always be fixed in my memory and in the memories of mom, dad, Eddie, and Joey as an eight-year-old girl. It's even more difficult to think of all the things that you've missed in the 13 years since you died. Our family has had 65 birthdays, nine graduations, and two new dogs. I think that if you were alive, even you would be surprised to see what your lemonade stand has become. Or maybe not, you always had a way of knowing things. Tens of thousands of events each year and over $140 million raised in total. We'll be a little bit more after today. <laughs> Quite a far cry from the lemonade stand you set up in our front yard not too many years ago. When I think of you on this day, the word that comes to mind is bittersweet. It's impossible to recollect the joy of your life without also bringing to mind the tragedy of your death and the tragedy of pediatric cancer. Should I feel happy to have known you or sad to have lost you? Should I think of the thousands of lives that your dream saved or your life that ended too soon? Should I remember the fullness of your years or the shortness of your life? Do I remember the days sitting in our backyard, you drawing and me reading, or your final days when your illness had progressed beyond the point of no return? I could remember you as a lot of things. The lemonade girl, the childhood cancer survivor, one of my best friends, my little sister. But none of them do you justice, because you wouldn't be you, you wouldn't be Alex, if they weren't all true. More than anything else, I remember you, I will remember you, for what you have taught me. When asked about your cancer, you once said, I'm grateful for what I have, not ungrateful for what I don't have. You, a terminally ill child, were still appreciative of what you did have. To me, that describes you better than any label, encapsulates your image better than any picture. It reminds me that even though you were never old in age, in many ways you were old in wisdom. For the lessons that you taught me, I will always remember you, and I will always be grateful. With love, your brother, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Okay, well, we're gonna um, change the tone right now. And this is for Alex, and this is for all our kid heroes here today. There's only two more to go and we're done. We're rocking and rolling, having a great time. Two people fly in business class on Singapore Airlines to the Maldives. It's a lot like South Jersey, if you've ever been, the Maldives, it's got that kind of vibe. So here's the deal. It's Singapore's brand new A350-900, it's got a thing, and another thing, and a flux capacitor. It goes non-stop, non-stop, from LA to Singapore, you don't have to stop anymore, it's one of the longest flights in the world. You're going to get off in Singapore, spend two nights in the Four Seasons. Then you're going to fly two days later to the Maldives where you get a week at the Como Coco Island Resort. It's one of those things over the water with the huts. You know you want to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be there. Two business class. Yeah, Stein wants to be there. Two business class tickets, flying to Singapore, flying to Maldives, Four Seasons, on their brand new plane. I'm starting this at $10,000. The plane tickets alone are worth like a quarter of a million. All right, we got a lot of hands. 10,000, 15,000, 15,000, 20,000. I got, I'm looking for 20, we got 20,000 on my left. No, 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 you see it. Oh, okay. 15, where's my 15, where's my 20? 20, looking for 25. 25 on my right, looking for 30, 
thousand dollars. <laughs> we got twenty-five thousand on my right. I do not have two of these, just so you know. It's worth a lot more than that. But it's going once. Twenty-seven five on my left. Somebody shake thirty thousand right there behind you at the other table. I like it. We're at thirty G's. How about thirty-two five if you're still in on this action? Thirty-two five down front. We like it. Looking for thirty-five thousand right now. We're at thirty-two five. Looking for thirty-five thousand dollars. Going once. At 325, 35,000 right over there. Yeah, I know. Are you going to 3750? 37, 3,000, 37,500. Are we going to 40 on this? The Maldives. Was that a yes? That was a no. I got so excited right there. You know, you get the cheese platter on the plane. Suzanne does the food. It's good, right? Thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars go once. You got to go to forty on this. Going twice at thirty. Am I missing anyone? One time at thirty-seven thousand five hundred. Two times. Sold for thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars to that great guy and family, right there. We love you guys. All right. Item number four, this is the guys. But it's not the in-home dinner in the kitchen for 10. We'll save that for the ladies. We're mixing it up. This is an old school pizza, pasta, red and white tablecloths, lots of red wine, 50 people in your backyard. That's a hell of a party. If your backyard's not big enough, do it in your house. Chris Bianco's coming to your house. Evan Funky is coming to your house. Bruce Kalman is coming to your house. Steve Sampson is coming to your house. Shannon Swindle's coming to do a little something sweet. A little tiramisu. 50 people, your house, your backyard. It's an Italian fest. This is the guy's thing. Bianco, Bruce Kalman, Evan Funky, Amazing Wine, Steve Sampson, Shannon Swindle. Big numbers, big money. You guys want it. Partner up with all your friends. Like 50 of your friends. Yes. Someone just said Billy. Should I start at 5? Should I start at 10? I'm starting at 10. Was, will they fly to Milwaukee? Will they fly to Milwaukee? Yeah. Pay for the flight, yeah. She said if you pay for the flights and give me a ton of money, we'll go to Milwaukee. Yeah. You want to start at 50 G's right now? We'll fly right there. All right, we're starting at 10,000. Starting at 10. But you guys better step up right now. Are we going to 20 of the way back right now? Is that a yes? 20,000 over there. We're going in $5,000 increments. Are you going to 25, Milwaukee? I thought you were a big shot. You're out in 30 seconds. This guy. Jesus. Who let him in here? All right, we're 20 Gs over there. Can we go to 25,000? 50 people in your backyard. Come on, LA. It's a big deal. We got 20,000 looking for $25,000 right now. 25,000. Thanks, folks. Are we at 30,000? Looking on my left. 30,000 with the hat. I love that guy. Is that 35 or 30? 35. 35,000 right there. How about 40,000? I know. How about 37.50? I'll meet you in the middle. You're just going to 40, 40,000. They're not messing around. We're 40,000 on my right. I'm looking for 41,000. Just want to. That was just the way, yeah. 
Jonathan Waxman wants to come to the dinner too. So let's add in JW with a little JW chicken and some salsa verde and maybe some gnocchi. Jonathan doesn't get out of bed for less than 50. So he might not be coming to the dinner. We'll see how it goes. We're at 40,000 right now. Or is anyone coming in at 41? You're racist. You're just pointing. We're at 40. That's my bidder at 40 right now. We're at 40,000. I got you. I got the line of sight. 40 G's right now. Looking for 41,000. It's a good deal. It's another great deal. The guy over there. Yes, you. Are you coming in at 41? Yes, he says. I like it. Are you coming in at 42? 42. I'll tell you what. This is too exciting. Match the 42. We'll sell it twice. That's 84. Th yeah. Done and done. 42,000. 42,000. $84,000. I like it. All right. The guys did well this year. Such a good idea. It was a great idea. All right, now it's the ladies. Everybody loves the ladies. Suzanne Gowen's coming to your house. April Bloomfield. Where's April? Are all the ladies here? April, Giada. Come on to the stage. Nancy Oaks, Nancy Silverton, Sherry Yard. Make your way up here. Nancy was here. Giada's over here. And just so you know, the ladies' dinner, also known as the chicks' dinner, has raised just this auction item over a half a million dollars. All right. Nancy's coming up. Giada's coming up. Suzanne's here. Sherry Yard's here somewhere. Nancy Oaks is right here. April's still running around. There's April. She's coming. April's new restaurant opens in a couple weeks. Chara, tu sei la mi bella. I know, I know, I know. All right, wait, there's April. April's got a brand new restaurant open up in Los Angeles. April, I'm plugging it to 2,000 people right now. The Hearth and the Hound. Hearth, lovely. All right, here's the deal. You guys know the deal. All these ladies in your living room, everyone's doing a course. You're going to drink a ton of wine. Nancy wants you to know if it goes more than last year, it won't even be your living room. It'll also be in your bedroom. Wow. <laughs> Drop the mic. Good night, everybody. Wow. That was aggressive, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> it is for a good cause. Taking one for the team. Okay. Well, it, we, that's what we already added. Something we spiced it up a little bit, Jada. Well, it might be everybody in the bedroom. So it's, it wasn't just wasn't just Nancy. All right, it's the last item. You guys are amazing. This is bigger than all of us for sure. I'm starting at twenty thousand dollars for all the ladies right now. Don't give me the ooh ah. 20000 is the opening bid. We're going in $5,000 increments. All my bidders, I know the tents are a little lower. I just got to see your hands. 25000 right there. 30000 right there. I know, you can't do it. Not yet. We're at thirty. I want thirty-five. He's thinking about it. Thirty-five right there, looking for forty. 40000 right there, looking for forty-five. You guys want the bedroom action. We're going to see where this goes. We're at $40,000. we are looking for $40,000. $45,000 over there. Looking for fifty. dollars It's so good. You're so... Put on your visa. You'll pay for it next year. Come on. We're looking for... Are you pointing... $50,000 on my left. Pay attention. We got 50. We're looking for 55. 55,000 right there. 60,000 on my left. Really? All right. 
Well, just for right now, the old, we're, you're my 60 over there. The record is 63. You're going to take me to 65 right now, just so I can say we did that. Can we do that? 65,000 right now. There you go. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. $65,000. I'm looking for 70. $70,000 right here. Wow. Wow. We're at 70. Everyone's, you, people are waving. Like you're, this is like, yeah, don't wave. You're going to, we're at $70,000 right now. It's a guy. I know the guy. No names. I know who, I'm doing my thing here. He's in the zone. You look at me, hazel eyes, very sexy. Focus. We're at 70 G's. 70. Are you going to $75,000? I know. You're, I know we're at that point. I know. You know you want it. Yes, 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 yes. $75,000 right now. Right there. We're at 75. All right, here's what we're going to do. Here, no. Record's beaten. We're at 75. We'd like you to just match that right now. We're going to sell two. It's going to be 150,000. Wait a minute. Another 75 right there. Hang on. We're at 100, wait, we've got the two sold. Here's the question. Are you doing our third dinner at 75,000? This will be the all time mega record. Another one at 75,000. $225,000. That guy, that lady, that lady, that's pretty good. Do you all want to come up here? They all want to make out with you. It's part of Nancy's thing. <laughs> Nancy says it's foreplay. They want it's. Do you want to be acknowledged? They all. She. They don't want to go to the stage. They want to. They yes. We love those the people in that area. That area. That guy. But. Yes. <laughs> Okay, for the, hang on, like, just stay here for moral support, all the ladies. That's 220, and remember what, don't forget this. As great as this day is, where's Jay right there? All this money saves lives. All this money saves lives. So as good as this is right now, as great as this is right now, we're not done. Where's Jimmy Kimmel? Jimmy, you're here, right? You want the steps on the side? You want to come over? All right, Jimmy's coming up. Ladies, stand back here for more. Let's give Jimmy lots of love, everybody. So last year, Jimmy did this, and he came over to me. He said, "Hey, Billy, let's do it again." And for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, I'm gonna let Jimmy tell you about it. We're going to auction off this three-year-old girl. <laughs> What's your name? Jane. Her name is Jane. She's very friendly. She's a good swimmer. She's good at drawing and dancing too, right? Right. Right. <laughs> I know, it's a little weird. Okay. Um, I just do want to say, first of all, thank you to Billy and thank for who does a fantastic job with this. I've done this a million times. And it's the hardest thing you can do. And... Billy, you, you do it beautifully, and thank you. And uh, thanks to all of you who asked about our son, Billy, who is doing very well. He's just right over there. He's... We, realized, um, we realized how important it is to have, you know, we've been coming to this event for many years, and, and um, 
It, it really is especially meaningful for us this year. So um, we want to do something to help. And um, we had a great event at our barn last year. Right. Right. <laughs> Thank you for pulling me out of that <laughs> emotional hole I was about to go into. Uh, <laughs> But we had a great event at our barn last year, and um, actually we had this year, Phil Rosenthal and Ray Romano bid on this, and uh, the lady chefs also bid, and we're gonna be having a dinner in a couple of weeks. We, um, we are gonna auction off a dinner at, at our house. We have a bar next door to our house, and it's gonna be an Italian dinner, and we have some great chefs that have kindly volunteered their time. And these guys really work hard on these things. And thanks again for doing this to all, all of you and your helpers and everybody. They do it for nothing. And it really is something else. And they're... So we'll start off with my pal Chris Bianco will be there. He will be making pizzas. He, um, he is always great to do this stuff. The great Mark Vetri, who really got this whole thing going is going to come out from Philadelphia especially to cook Evan Funky who's got Felix restaurant in Venice is going to cook with us um, we got the great John and Vinny who are going to be there and cook and get everybody baked if they have to um, and if you, if you did not wait in that huge line for Adam Perry Lang you won't have to because he will be there making something very beefy for us at our house and uh, a special bonus guest, the Frankies uh, from Frankies in Brooklyn, which if you've not been there, is one of the absolute best restaurants ever. We'll come all the way out to cook at our barn, and um, and we would like to... Where we, should we start the bidding here, Billy? We started at 25000 last year, and I'm starting there again. Opening bid, $25,000 right now. Opening bid at 25000 that guy... 30,000 over there. You're getting into 30? 30,000 there. Going to 35,000 right now. 35,000 right now. How about... How many people? Oh, how many people? Uh, 25 people. How does that sound? 25 people. Jimmy's barn. We're, you're my $35,000 guy. Yeah, 35. Great. Where's my $40,000 guy right now? We're 40,000 over there. Thank you. How about 45,000? $45,000. How about $50,000, right? $50,000 from that table right there. How about $55,000? They're shaking. $55,000 from a new bidder over here. How about $60,000 right there? $60,000 right there. We're at $60,000. 65000 right now. How about $70,000? 70000 right now. How about 75000 How about 80000 Or he's... Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah keep it. Oh, 80000 right there. They just went for it right there. 85000 right here. Are we going to 90? Yes. 90000 right there. Just so you know, next year, Suzanne, Jimmy's just going to do five parties at his house, and we'll just do it that way. Was that 90? Yes. 95,000. Let's do this. Go to 100. Go to 100. 200 grand. Done. 100,000. 100,000. 200,000 dollars. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's hear it for Jimmy Kimmel, everybody. And Jane. Woo! Jimmy and Jane. All right. Wow. There's more. All right, so here's the deal. Wait, can everyone clap their hands? That was just friggin' amazing for all of them. On the phone, yeah, because we got all the heroes. Oh, we got to get all the heroes. Okay, can all my hero kids come up on stage right now? Can we give them a little, we got like five more minutes, folks, and then the food and booze is coming. Funny. All right. Hang on, hang on. Be 
Before we bring up the kids' campaign, you want to just bring up the kids' campaign? But, all right, so the fun to cure, since we just raised so much money, there are cards on the table. You can bid on your phone. Our goal is, of course, to raise an additional $100,000 on the fun to cure. So make sure you get in on that action as well. Okay, we want to bring all the kids up on stage. Suzanne's going to talk about the kids' campaign. Okay, thank, thank you so much, everybody. That was, that was insane. Like, last year, we never thought we could beat last year, and that was unbelievable. So thank you all so much. And, sorry. And thank you to all the people who put the pressure on all the bidders, too, because I think that really helps, like all of our screaming. Louder, sorry. Jackson's later. Okay, so three years ago, three years ago, we had this idea, since Alex was all about kids raising money for kids, and we all have kids, we thought the kids should have their own campaign and should raise money themselves. So, right? So, so, we, so we started a committee, and if you were to be on the committee, you, were, you committed to raising $250 and to telling five friends about Alex's Lemonade. We raised $10,000, which is insane. Last year we raised $23,000. And, and this year, I just have to, I know we keep recognizing people, but Corey Bernards, where is she? So our friend, our friend Corey, seriously took on this kids' campaign like a crazy person, relentless, and we raised. Her goal was fifty thousand dollars. We all thought she was nuts. We raised fifty. Or we these kids raised fifty-four thousand. Yes.